I know, lovely here, yeah, right? What can I say? I just rolled out of bed. But uh, some of you have been wondering what my local Lego store looks like, Carol Rogi. So, well. Here I am for the early Brick Friday sale. This is November 17th, which is actually a Saturday. But uh, if I'm actually allowed, I'll show you what it's like in there. Okay, so I'm now actually inside the store. We've got the brick wall over here. I'll be over there shortly. Actually, as part of the VIP thing, we've got this uh, holiday building box. You just fill it up with bricks. There's a uh, key to doing it that I'll show you later. But uh, standing by the marble section right now. But yes, the entire store is full of Lego. Now, this is the least full I have ever seen it, but then again, the number of names that were invited to this early opening were maybe 20 people, so yeah, there you go. Now, they do have these little display boxes here. And again, in the center, let me show you this one. This is the Hoth base scene. Next to the Mines of Moria. Now, one slight problem today is that they don't actually have the prices up for any of these, so I don't know which ones are on sale or not. Um, oh. Oh, uh, yes. The Imperial Star Destroyer. Well, I can actually show you something with this. I'm probably not going to get this one. I just can't bring myself... Well, let me show you. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. $499.99. Yeah, this thing weighs a ton, too. I'm not going to be able to do it with this one. Um, I think this one will work. This is the Millennium Falcon. And here we have the Try Me Digital Box. So I hold it here. Come on. Oh, of course, it's not going to work for me. There you go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, and this is getting really heavy because I'm holding it with a really awkward grip. <laughs> Yeah, so we have these. Passes as well. Yeah, if they're they're I'm listening to check them off on the uh let's just show you all these. Oh, yeah, it actually. These ones aren't sets. These are actually made by like a local Lego club, for the most part. Huh, they're actually building and painting the Lego brick. That's kind of cool. This is a, these are more sets. Yeah, I I it's actually empty. Hmm. 
Anyway, it's kind of a Lego store now. I'm going to go fill this thing up. Okay, so here we are at the brick wall. And I'm going to show you a trick. It's rather popular here right now because everybody here got one of those brick boxes. So, this is what the normal brick boxes look like. Now, these are set up with uh, a little chef. But, as you can see, they're round. Got a brick so they stack easily. The problem is, of course, they're round, so it's hard to fill them up. Now, these ones, on the other hand, there's a trick to it, and all you have to remember is that it's about 11 across. So to build something structure like this, we need some number of bricks that add up to 10. In this case, I've got two one by two one by threes and one one by four, and then stack them up. And essentially, you build a little box to fit inside the box. You build it up like this. Just stick it in. just the box deciding to be a little bit of a pain in the neck. There we go. So you build it up. Obviously you'd put more on it than that. Then you can fit it in there. And then you can go inside and do a 9x9 nine nine box. And then a 7x7, seven seven, etc. All the way down. And you can actually fill these up right to the top. So if you're in a Lego store over the holiday season, you get one of these boxes, that's what you do if you want a lot of bricks. Okay, so one other thing they have at these stores is these little, little Lego Build-A-Mini stations. No. Reason I, I'm, I'm not actually planning on getting any of these today, but I've noticed that they've actually got uh, little gems in here, which is kind of interesting. I haven't seen those before, but I've got lots of the gems, so not really in any need. I did decide to pick up the uh, pet shop, though. Okay. So the store is just about to open to the general public now, but I uh, figured I'd show you the sets that are on display outside. So here's the pet shop set, which is the one I purchased today. Oh look, that looks familiar. Haunted House. Of course I already did the build on that one. This is going to be the next purchase in the modular build series. This is the only one I, of the active ones that I don't have. Of course, I already built this off with the camel. And then here we've got the two Star Wars ones. There's R2-D2. This one, I don't think I'm going to get. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just that blocky head kind of turns me off for some reason. It, but I do have this one. Um, actually, this is probably going to be my next build. In fact, I might get, just get home today and start putting this one together. This is a really cool looking set. This is the B-Wing Fighter. Oh, coffee. Oh, excuse me for one second. So, I'm assuming you're wondering what I actually bought here. Oh, I needed that. Alright. So here... This one is the pet shop. It's another in the series of the modular buildings. Uh, I have two of the other ones. I haven't put them together yet. Uh, but okay. I also bought the advent calendar. 
uh, this is just the normal city advent calendar. I'm really just going to open that right away and put the, put the figures together. That's why I didn't stop by the uh, build a brick or the build a minifig set. These two things on top here. This looks like a Lego coin purse and a little holiday set. We're actually free, as was this poster here. And I also, there's that uh, brick box that I filled up, and somewhere buried in here, I'm not going to bother trying to find it. They gave me another box that I have to fill up after Christmas this time. Anyway, I hope that was interesting now, if you'll excuse me. I have my coffee and my bagel belt to finish off, because I'm really, I really, really need the caffeine right now. Have a good day, folks.